You know I've been talking about this looking so beaky. Of course the reason for that is that it's missing quite an iconic part in of course the third horn of the Triceratops. <laughs> Alpha, this alpha is past. Prepare for him a hard work with attitude. Hello and welcome to the next episode of Build the Megazord where we are looking at issue 23 this time and I'm not going to start off by talking uh, because uh, I didn't think it right in light of what's happened over here in the UK so I'm just going to crack on with the video. Um, of course we are finishing off the Triceratops head today so let's get started on issue 23 where we are looking at this piece to start off with and this of course is the iconic kind of front part of the Triceratops head and it looks great once again really 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 clean paint work the mold is superb it is molded on blue but painted white so be careful not to scratch it although you know it's sealed with a lovely gloss seal so you know it's going to be quite hard to scratch it you're really going to have to put your heart and soul into it if you want to scratch it um, and the first thing we do with this piece is flip it around because you may have noticed there's a piece missing here there's a hole missing here that is for this piece here and what we need to do is just line up those two screw holes with those two pegs there looking great and it'll look like that when it's all done and this piece is well this is what's confused me it's see-through for the sensor but it's molded in like this orange plastic but it's painted yellow which makes me think I could go back if I wanted to and paint black on that mastodon part uh, that was shining the green light through before I probably won't because uh, the light up feature is only going to be used once in a blue moon um, and I don't want to take apart that uh, mastodon head again uh, but yeah it makes me think that, that if you do want to paint that part black give it a try it may still work because this part is painted um, I'm going to screw that in and then after that I am going to screw in the sensor as well so the sensor will just sit onto these two pegs there like that. So I'm just going to screw all of that together now. And there we go. That is all done all installed the sensors there and then the color match is spot on there looking very very nice indeed so let's now bring the triceratops head back and i'm going to unfurl the sensor because the sensor needs to go oops, through the whole triceratops head and then out through the bottom so just line that up there actually maybe it makes sense if it goes through this hole there we go just feeding it through sorry if the angle's slightly off there we go and then we have the sensor coming through. Yes, it's got the blue wire, the sensor. So that's coming through there. And then oh, match this up so that it all fits. Push and click it into place. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. There we go. There we go. Proper click that into place. And then, of course, we get three screw holes here. We only need the one of them to attach the white part to the rest of the blue parts just there like that and I can feel this horn wanting to escape but there we go looking fantastic looking really really good now um, you know I've been talking about this looking so beaky for a few weeks now of course of course the reason for that is that it's missing quite an iconic part in of course the third horn of the Triceratops <laughs> so 
yeah, we've got this gorgeously molded um, third horn. It's got a slight curve to it on this side and it's more straight on this side. The straighter side goes at the bottom and that just slots in there like that. Now that is a little loose and I think normally I'll glue that down, but because I'm still holding out for um, some bespoke um, chain bins coming, I'm not gonna glue that down. Actually, it's not that loose. Uh, and it looks great. Look, it's not as beaky anymore. It really takes away from the beakiness um, of the Triceratops. And that is the head essentially done. <laughs> it just kind of surprised me there. That's the head all done. That's the head all done. Now let's just finish it off with the electronics. So the electronic parts, of course, we have the on off button there. And we have the uh, peg there for the on off button. Um, what I'm going to do is get some tape for this button while we attach stuff around it so that we don't lose it and so it stays in place. So that button and that tape is on there like that. We just zoom in for this next part. And then we need to get the circuit board, which we've seen many times before. There's the on off button there. So we just line that up with everything else. And then it's just screwed down with these screw holes here. And there it is all attached. Of course, I had to do that off camera because of the whole electrical pieces and stuff like that. I can move that tape now. You can see you've got the on off button there and the USB charger there. Now what we need to do is we need to line up all of these wires to each of these ports and this is going to be tough to do because the instructions are in French but I think it's actually yeah okay I just have to go double check I, yeah I think it's actually going to be quite easy because these two here are for the eyes because there's only they've only got two ports on the two left ones this one second in from the right has three and then this one's a different fitting altogether so uh, yeah so that's a light that's a light one it's got two that's a light one. It's got two. Oh, that's also got two, but it's slightly bigger attachment. That one there. And then the horns come and done again. And then of course we've got three for the battery. So I am going to do this off camera um, because they're very fiddly wires and I don't want to damage them. So be right back. Okay, so they are now installed. Uh, I had some chain escapage again. Uh, yeah, so they are now all installed and now what we need to do is just push this part in and it's attached with clips. So we've got a clip on that side, we've got a clip on this side. So we just very carefully feed the wires through and then... Oh, I don't like putting brute strength into this, but yeah, that's fine. Just clip that in and that is in. That is all done. And there's only a minimal gap there. You can't see anything at all and with the mouth open. Looking great. So let's put the horns back in <laughs> for the um umpteenth time. Ooh, one. Oh, and I've just turned on the lights, which you can't see at this angle. I've just turned on the eyes. And I've just turned them off again. Okay, there's one. Oh, I've got the wire to chain caught. There's two. There we go. And those are the lights all on as well. And there is absolutely no light leaking. Not even through the mouth, I don't think. No. Oh, look at that. And that's the Triceratops head. All done. Is there any way to angle this up so I can... Yes, look at that. Looking fantastic. And yeah, the eyes are really, really bright. Compared to the Mastodon last time, they are so bright. It looks great. Um, right, so let's just turn the lights off for just a second because I wasn't going to talk about that yet. The first thing I'm going to talk about is some size comparisons. So let's just bring in its younger brother with the soul of Shizoken. I mean, the colour match on these blues is spot on. It really, really is. And it looks just as good. It looks just as good. The chains are a little longer in this one. I spoke about that at length a few videos ago, but yeah, looking fantastic. So that is the sole of Shizoken. 
And here is the 93 Megazord, again with uh, Triceratops, sorry, again with accurate stickers. You can see on the 93, they didn't fully paint all the white of the eyes, like you can see here. Um, yeah, the, the proportions of the SOC and the Altair Megazord are just much better. And I haven't got these ugly screw holes. I never really noticed that before, crikey. Ugly screw holes on this side of the face. Um, yeah, it looks fantastic. It looks really, 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 really nice. And, you know, as we did before, let's turn it on. So those are the lights shining brightly with full lights everywhere. If I just turn the lights off by a click, you'll see, <laughs> look how brightly they're glowing. They're showing, shining a red light on my hands. And you can see it reflecting the horns as well. They are really, really super bright, looking great. So let's zoom out and we've got Triceratops front and center. We have Megazord head with no lights. We have Megazord heads with lights there. You can see that. We have its other foot with the um, Save to Tiger and they do glow the same. I'd say the intenseness of the red is the same on both of those. And of course we have the Mastodon head, which is just huge, just absolutely huge and just just gets in the way, absolutely gets in the way. Oh, I do want to say that uh, for those of you who remember what a month or longer ago, I have fixed these parts now. It was a really simple fix. So they are now facing the right way. That's not going to scupper me here uh, in the future. So let's lay these out and let's get the remote out. So it's 16, 17 and 18 for the uh, tri uh, Triceratops. So there they are flashing away, off, flashing away, off, on, flashing away, off, on. And if I can get the angle right, there we go. All flashing away at the same time and then all off at the same time and they're all on and then all off, all on. Back to flashing. Ah, oh, not quite, not quite all of them. Okay, yeah, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta get the angle really right to, to get them all at the same time. But when you do, it does feel good. Um, and, and yeah, we've got now four out of the six heads for this build. Don't forget that uh, I, I count six because the Megazord head is its head in its own right. And then we've got five Zords. The Triceratops head has blue LEDs for the uh, his eyes. And uh, the only reason I know that is because next week we are starting on the Triceratops head. No, we're not. We've just done the Triceratops head. Next week we're starting on the Trianosaurus head. So we're starting on the fifth head out of six. Um, and of course the uh, uh, the fourth Zord. Because the Triceratops head will go over the top of the Megazord head, of course. So let's just take away all of the others and leave it with the one that we have been building all this time. The Triceratops head looking great. In fact, let me just put the lights back on so you can see it in all its glory. I think it looks beautiful. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying all of all of this build. It's been an abs it's been an absolute dream, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait to get my teeth into the Tyrannosaurus head next week. And I hope you will join me for that, guys. Next week, Tyrannosaurus, um, probably for the next month or so. So I hope you join me for that. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know in a comment down below. Please like it and please share it with partwork companies in your country just to highlight how much you want to do this build because it is brilliant. You know, I've done quite a few of these now and maybe this is because it's the first one from my childhood. Um, and I'm talking about childhood childhood because Star Wars and, and Back to the Future was just a little bit later. But for my like five year old self watching Power Rangers, that kind of childhood, that's probably why I'm enjoying this so much. Um, and if you want to build it, you know, share it with part work companies till it comes out. And I'll see you next time when we start the head of the Tyrannosaurus. So I hope you join me then. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>